You usually I find the idea of the tree is a growth, human growth, and relating it to the human being. I have this um, idea of uh, trying to find out about the nomad. I found this uh, tree, there's a, a legend in Sudan, a kind of a, a story that the, the uh, Harazda tree, which is a tree that grows by the banks of the Nile, during the rainy season and the flood, it's completely dry, this tree. And during the uh, dry season, it's in blossom with fruit and uh, all green and fresh. They say the Haraza fought against the rain because of this sort of different kind of characteristics in a tree, which is supposed to follow the rest of the trees in the neighborhood and be growing by the river and to be dry is very strange. But it seems to me very, very close to the nature of the individual who is a nomad. A nomad rejects authority, rejects being part of a, a subjected character under a certain influence. This tree, apart from the idea of growth, and dryness and freshness. It combines so many things in it as well. And that's why I concentrated on it for a long time, taking different forms and different shapes. Sometimes it comes nearer to a form of a tree. Sometimes it goes a little bit away from the form of a tree. But the main idea to me was the human being, because I've been following this for some time and trying to express through my work, the idea of the human being as an individual, as someone who is within himself or herself, is completely a form that is full of love, full of uh, admiration, of understanding, and so on. This to bring it into a, a visual form, as I've been trying throughout, throughout time, was uh, quite interesting to me and kept my mind alive for some time. Many times I come back to the idea of the tree.